of the uh, chute rotator motor that I've got mounted. What I wanted to point out was that you can see how that piece of steel comes up and then kicks over and goes in. That was not fun to make. If I had it to do again, I would just put spacers um, in between the motor and this place and that uh, and this plate here. This is the uh, connection. Again, what I did, this this piece right here will come on the motor. Um, what I did was, before I screwed this on, I took a grinder and I ground a flat spot in these threads so that this Allen screw could set on it. Um, it's plastic, so uh, threading that is not a difficult thing. I think I've got another one on the back side as well. Um, so there are actually two spots on this shaft that this set screw, that the two set screws tighten down on to keep it from spinning, um, to keep it sp from spinning on that threaded shaft. This is just a piece of rod from the original crank uh, mechanism. I drilled a hole through that and put a uh, drift pin in it. This stuff is real soft so it's not hard to drill through. And that's just the regular um, universal joint and gear for the uh, chute. Um, that's it. I just really wanted to point out this the way this curves in right here. Um, that you'll need to get some spacers. I know Ace Hardware sells some uh, an assortment of nylon spacers, uh, different lengths that you could put in there. That's probably an offset of about pretty close to a half an inch, something like that. And these are just ideas. You can obviously do whatever you want. Um, mount the motor any place that uh, that it'll work. This just was or is a convenient way to mount it to an errands. Um, you've got the bolt right down there and uh, it keeps a pretty straight line up to the uh, universal and the gear. This is uh, just a look at um, the mounting holes. The uh, little template that you'll get is um, will allow you to drill the correct holes in anything that you decide to uh, mount it to. Something else too, when you take these uh, those screws out um, of this, the whole thing's going to come apart. This side's going to fall off. Obviously that front plate will fall off and the shaft will come right out of the housing. Um, it's packed with grease. On the end of this uh, shaft is a nylon gear, but um, if it falls apart on you, it's no big deal. Don't worry about it. There's no springs to pop out or anything, so you just hold this back on and and uh, put the screws in and that's it. Now you want to be a little careful I guess because the screws that go into this uh, this is aluminum housing so you want to make sure you get the um, screws started straight and don't cross them.